All right, everyone, I know I'm a little late to the scene of the PS Vita hacking scene, but you know what they always say, better late than never. And here we are. Let's do this. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for watching. And today we're gonna take a look at hacking our PS Vita to the latest custom firmware and we're going to be updating the firmware to 3.73 and then we're going to install H Encore which is the custom firmware and this firmware is not permanent meaning that every time your system powers down or uh, you lose battery or whatever you're going to have to go back into the application install Hinkaku then you go back into your settings and then enable homebrew and you're gonna have to do that every single time which isn't a big deal I just did it a few times and it just takes like 10 15 seconds top so uh, I have the PS Vita first generation and every first generation will require a memory card because it doesn't have internal storage like the PS Vita 2000 or the PS Vita TV so so if you just got a Vita like I did and you don't have a memory card you can hit up GameStop and your local game stores to see if they have one available pre-owned I bought mine at GameStop for 20 bucks and that was very expensive I do not like to spend too much on memory because there's so many options out there and the sizes are ridiculous but since this is pro a proprietary memory card for the Vita you will have to spend a little bit of change just to get that or you can buy one off the Facebook marketplace that's a good idea and if you're patient you can buy some off uh, Amazon some second market stuff and you can also buy them off eBay Mercari there's so many options if you're patient I recommend doing it online if you really want to get into it right away I suggest going to the Facebook marketplace first to see if they have any for sale or you can hit up like your Craigslist or your local uh, sellers or whatever like that and see if they have some available pre-owned your last resort would be like GameStop because they're really expensive like I just went because I wanted to get this video done and also just get into the hacking scene for the PS Vita so another thing you want to keep in mind is having your PS Vita fully charged because we're going to be using our USB cable to connect to content manager on our PC and then transferring the application to our PS Vita so Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's begin by updating our firmware to 3.73. And the first thing we want to do is enable Wi Fi. Go to settings, network, and then Wi Fi settings and set up your local internet. Next, go to system update then update using Wi-Fi and then follow the prompt instructions to install the firmware. It's going to take about 5 minutes for it to download and install onto your system. Next up we want to set up our PlayStation Network account to avoid any issues while installing the application later on.
Okay, now our Vita is all set up to install this application. Let's head on over to our PC. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do on our PC is enable file extensions and I'm using Windows 10 and this will work for Windows 10, 8.1 and 8. As far as Windows 7 goes, I'll have instructions on that in the description down below. And now we're gonna just open up our file explorer and you wanna open up a drive, you can use any drive, a USB drive or your PSP drive or PS Vita drive. I'm just gonna use my SSD drive and we're gonna click on view on top and then we're gonna go here to file name extensions and we wanna enable that. And we go back to view and you can see the box is checked and now we're all set. Next up, we're gonna download the USB driver for our PS Vita and it's called QCMA driver. We're gonna double click on that. Hit yes, prompted. Follow the steps to install this. It should be fairly easy. And now on to the next step. Head on over to the first link in the description down below and it'll take you to github.com. Here's final H Encore version 1.92. And we want to click on the first link here and it's 6.01 megabytes click on that and there it is show in folder there's our file and then we want to right click extract here and now we have three different uh, files going on we have two folders and one uh, application here which is 15.8 megabytes now you can launch the application here with the unlock icon and then we have this new window open up and now we can connect our PS Vita to our computer and we have to launch content manager. Okay, so we want to connect our PS Vita to USB cable onto our PC and then we want to hit content manager and you want to say copy content. And now it's going to start connecting to the PC. Now we have a selection to do. And we have PS3 system, PC, online storage, and NASNY system. We want to hit PC and USB cable. So it says could not connect to the PC. Hit OK. So now it says is content manager assistant already installed on the PC you want to connect the system to? I'm going to hit no. And then it says install content manager assistant on your PC. Connect the system to the PC using a USB cable and select this here. Then installation will begin on your PC. So let's hit install content manager assistant. And now we're gonna go back on our PC and install that application. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's open up our file explorer. And now we're gonna see a CD drive. Now we're gonna double click on this application here, the content manager assistant. We wanna hit yes. Content manager assistant for app PlayStation. I was gonna say application, PlayStation. Okay, preparing to install, extracting content manager assistant.msi. The program will install content manager assistant. Hit next. You wanna accept the terms, install, now it's going to be installing it onto your computer. And you can choose where to have the files stored. And I'm just going to leave it there for now. Change it later. Connecting using USB cable or connecting using the network, which is nice. But we're just going to keep it on the USB cable, obviously. Hit OK. And that's it. Now we're back on our Vita. We can connect with PC now after it's done installing. And there we go. Now we have this new window pop up. Connected device, Psi, which is my PC. Now that we have our PS Vita connected via USB cable to our PC and through our content manager, we now see that the Final H Encore is seeing it connected to PS Vita. So now we can hit let's go.
it will take some time so you just gotta be patient all right it looks like everything is ready now we can go back onto our ps vita and finish the steps there all right we're back on our vita and we want to select this option under copy content pc to our ps vita system then we want to go to applications and then from there we want to go under applications and ps vita and now we want to select the h encore 2 243 megabytes and hit copy the selected content items will be copied to this system hit ok and let it copy onto your system it will take some time all right looks like we got 12 seconds left all right once it's done copying we can now exit out of here there we go okay so now we can disconnect our usb cable okay so you scroll down and you'll see the h encore 2 application and now we're going to launch it but before we do you want to hold down the r button when you launch it and then you press start and it says you cannot earn trophies in this application do you still want to start the application you want to say yes and there it is it was successful that's great there's our bootstrap menu and now we want to select install Hinkaku. Installing Hinkaku, success. Now it says select download Vita Shell. Let's do that. Now it's going to be installing all the applications. And there it is, success. Now we can select exit. Perfect. All right, now we can go to our settings and you should see a new option called Hinkaku settings right there. And if you don't see this, what you're gonna have to do is go back to H Encore, launch it. Uh, sometimes it will go into the bootstrap menu and if it doesn't, it will restart your system which is just fine. You can just go ahead and go back into the application, install Inkaku again, and uh, you should reset the, uh, the reset taihen config.tx, which is on the bottom of the menu. So I'll leave uh, more instructions in the description down below. Let's go back to our settings. Let's go into Hinkaku settings. And now we want to check enable unsafe homebrew right here. And then return to Hinkaku settings on menu. And then we can close the settings application. And now we are all set. So every time you have to reboot or you lose power on your PS Vita, you have to do these steps every single time. So you would have to go into H Encore application and you want to start it. Select yes. And then it will take you to the bootstrap menu and then you would have to install Hinkaku once again. Go to exit and if it's not there you would want to go back into this application and hit reset taihen config.tx which I was talking about earlier. And then you want to hit exit and then you go back to your settings. Go in here and you go back into Hinkaku settings and enable unsafe homebrew. And you're going to have to keep doing that every single time because this uh, custom firmware is not completely finished it's in the works so i'm just glad that they have something like this for us which is great and it's just awesome so that is basically it guys and that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up helps me out a lot any questions whatsoever please comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.